Hi, my name is Julia. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy Halloween. Happy Samhain. Uh, any holiday you're celebrating today, happy that. Um, so yes, today we're doing a very magical and very special reading. Today is the Supernatural Paranormal Pick a Card. Welcome. Now I do want to give a little disclaimer before I show you the pile selection. Um, if something doesn't fit, don't make it. Uh, if you've had no paranormal or supernatural experiences and you want to watch simply for entertainment, welcome. You are at the right place. I hope you stick around. Um, so yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, pile one is the crystal skull candle. Ah, pile one, crystal skull candle. Venus. Oh, Venus is here. Oh, you know it's about to get real. When my baby, my familiar's around, these messages get... Oh, I might have to take this hat off. I hope y'all love my hat. I got it for the trick-or-treaters, but it's a little bit long in the back, and I keep hitting the, the window, so I might take it off, but let's get to pile two. Pile two is this lovely, beautiful baby. Yes, hello, my love. Yes, I talk to this statue all the time, as if it's alive. Ooh. Yeah, I'm that weirdo. <laughs> so pile two is this beautiful Bastet statue for pile two. I have a different name for it, but we'll save that for another video. Pile three. is the hand, the palmistry hand for pile three. And for pile four, we have the besom. This is a cinnamon uh, broom that I bought down the street. It's kind of like the one I have hanging here that I love to wipe, uh, wipe, sweep my altar with and other surfaces, but very similar, but this one's new, just bought it. it smells like cinnamon, mm -hmm. So those are the four piles, pile one, two, three, and four. So choose your piles. The timestamps, as per usual, will be in the description and in the comments. And if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, any information you need to reach me can be found also in the description. I love you all dearly, and I will see you at your piles. Hi, pile one. If you chose the beautiful crystal skull candle, pile one, this is your reading. And I've been guided by my guides to almost pick a, I guess not almost, but to, I don't want to say pick a topic, but as I laid the cards out, a topic jumped out. And so you will know if this reading is for you or not. And like I said in the beginning, if this is not resonating any of it, don't make anything fit that doesn't fit, okay? If you want to watch just for entertainment, welcome, I love you. And we're going to get into it. So what, what I'm seeing here, and it, it, it kind of makes sense with the crystal skull candle, is something about time slips, yeah? Uh, now, the crystal skull reminds me of, um, especially with this water card next to it, the Bermuda Triangle. Um, also, you know, how they have those time slips, but that's also bringing me into something about being on different timelines. Um, and going back and forth from one timeline to another. And so what I'm seeing here, oh, you guys, I'm so sorry about the barking. Uh, it's trick-or-treaters right now. I am literally recording this right now on Halloween. I wanted to do it earlier, but I couldn't. So here we are, so please bear with me if the dogs are barking too much, I do apologize. But let me get back to what I was saying here. Let's start reading these cards, pile one. So what I'm seeing here is, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, death reverse, ten of swords, emperor reversed, five of cups. There seems to be a major timeline jump that, whether this is for you or someone you know, who that it happened in order to save somebody from a great betrayal or to help somebody to heal from a great betrayal that had happened. This happened due to either some kind of authoritative figure or an authority in someone's life 
that was causing great pain or sorrow, trying to keep somebody trapped in a lot of pain, a lot of sorrow, so that this person could not move forward to realize that they are meant to be a healer, that they can heal, that uh, they were uh, keeping this, trying to keep this you or the or whoever this reading is for because for some of you i'm getting the message that this might be for someone you know and for some of you this will be you um uh to keep somebody in the darkness to keep somebody in the darkness to stop them from ascending to be the healer they are meant to be and you know being a healer can that can translate in many different ways not all healers have to be like you know a um guru and there's a by all means, if, if one of them have come to this channel who is a guru, welcome, you know, but you can be a hairstylist, a comedian, and make people, and heal people through your laughter. You can heal people, as a, you could be an artist and be healing people through your art. There's many different forms of healers, but for who I'm reading for today, someone here definitely has a healing aura, a healing energy, and there was something that was going on that was happening that caused some kind of the universe, your guides, their guides, the benevolent beings, aliens, angels, did some kind of a time slip here, yeah? And it was so that somebody could be moved forward almost as if brought back to death or for somebody even say from death in order to heal from a betrayal or save them from a betrayal that had something to do, this could be with a, uh, you know, a masculine figure. It doesn't have to be, I'm getting for some of you, this will definitely be some kind of predatorial, authoritative figure. Now that could translate in many different ways. It can be groups, organizations, government, um, military, something. Or it could simply be, uh, I'm hearing some kind of malevolent circle of cr a crowd around somebody. Um, now, yes, and I feel that as um, for who I'm reading for, you're extremely smart, yeah, and you know how to get things done. But things were slow moving at first when you move when you when this time slip happened. It's like there was some kind of great. Um, it's the, what they're showing me. There was some kind of great change where, you know. It's almost as if it was this, it's like a before and after picture. This is how it was before and then something happened and it was like being on a brand new timeline where things changed, right? Yeah, in order to heal, in order to heal, to get the head and the heart back on the same page, to awaken somebody to their inner divine feminine, whether you are a male or a female, yeah? And this was um, actually something very healing. After that, things started to flow. Things started to brighten up. This could be happening currently now with Scorpio coming up, but what, whether, whether this is happening currently or of the past, this brought on a great transformation in you. Completely different. Awakened new psychic, new spiritual abilities. Unlocked higher levels of your higher psychic faculties, yeah? Yeah, this had to happen. And I'm, what I'm getting here is that for some of you, whether you're aware of this or not, you still go back and forth between new and old timelines, or you have the ability to, although I feel it's not highly recommended, unless you need to go back to that old timeline to gain some kind of information in here, yeah? Yeah, yeah, you are capable. You are capable of, of going back and forth between these two timelines, but there's always a warning and danger in doing that, yeah? Because should you, shift back into that old timeline and something happens, you could end up getting there stuck karmically. So proceed with caution if you should decide to do that. Okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think the guides are telling you don't, don't go there too often. If there's something you need to get, some bit of information or something that's there, and for whoever that's, this message is for, I'm sure it will make sense for you. Just be careful. Okay? Happy Halloween, y'all. This is a quick message. I'm not going to keep it too long because uh, more and more trick-or-treaters are going to be coming and the dogs are going to be barking a lot more. And I know it's a huge distraction. So I'm going to try to get, get these messages out a little bit quicker. But I love you guys. Happy Sawen. Happy Halloween. 
Hi, pile two, if you chose my beautiful baby right here. Hello, my love. Then this is your reading. Welcome to the Supernatural Paranormal. Pick a card. And I just want to start off by saying that remember, if the, any of the message doesn't fit, don't make it. And um, I have been guided by my guides to do this reading a little bit differently than I did the, this reading last year, uh, as that I have been told, and this is channeled message here, that there is a large group of people in the collective who have undergone much psychological warfare, uh, much control, and a lot of it is even done subliminally. A lot of people aren't aware of the psychological damage that is sometimes being done to them through subliminal means. Uh, I apologize if you guys hear the dogs barking, as it is Halloween and there are trick-or-treaters, so I hope it's not too much of a distraction. Um, love you. Um, so yeah, so they told me not to do too much of a read this time that provokes fear, as in because some people are healing and don't even realize they are healing from psychological warfare. And some of you are very well aware that there has been, whether it's been through, you know, group harassment or other kinds of spiritual attacks, that the mind is still healing. And so in, in an attempt to, for and I know that's not for everybody, but that for the ones who are going through that, so that they're, I'm not doing readings that will invoke fear that would damage the healing um, to their psyche, it is better to do this reading in a slightly different format than I did last year. I hope you understand. Um, I'm really glad you're here. I love you all. I had to take my witch hat off because it was so big. It was hitting this window and I couldn't um, channel as easy. So. Each pile seems to now have a theme, which will um, be in the description as well. So for pile two, if you guys chose my beautiful baby right here, the cat statue. This is a Bastet cat statue, yeah. Uh, but I call, I have a different name for my baby, but um, I won't say it on camera uh, for my own reasons. Yeah, it's a very magical baby right here. Ah, oh, yes, so this pile's theme is aliens. And you guys have a message from them. You ready? Here we go. So, uh, right now uh, we are channeling from the Syrians and from, uh, it looks to be, Alpha Centaurians. Uh, and I'm seeing that twice here. And this is something about that um, you are being called. They are working with you. Whether you're aware of it or not, they speak to you subliminally. They are helping you to... Um, unlock and activate very powerful spiritual gifts that you've had since a child. Very powerful spiritual gifts that you've had since a child that some of you have repressed or some of you have forgotten about. They're helping you to realize your self-worth in areas where you um, might be shy or modest or holding yourself back. Um, they want to, they're helping you to expand into your brightest self. I'm also getting a channeled message right now that uh, if you have what is that, water? Okay, for somebody here, if you saw something in the sky and you weren't sure what it was and you were wondering if it was some kind of a craft, you are absolutely correct. It was. Look at, there's so many distractions. There's other energies right now that are trying to just stop me from getting this message out. I can feel it. The aliens got my back. Uh, yeah, but... Okay, so uh, so if some if you saw something, some kind of craft, and you were wondering if it that if something in the sky, you were wondering if the craft, it absolutely a thousand percent was. I'm also being told that they were aware of your presence as well. Very much so. The beings in that craft, they were not bad. Uh, they were just observing. Um, I'm also being told that for somebody here watching that this will be separately. If you are worried about. There's somebody here watching who's not sure what they want to believe or think of aliens because they've had too much brainwashing from seeing things on the internet about malevolent beings. But what I'm being told is most of the beings that are... Well, that's not... That might be a little fear-invoking. The beings that are more malevolent are ones that have already been here on this planet. Not the ones that are observing from a distance or the ones that you see flashing in the sky so much. Those are not the ones you need to worry about. And I'm hearing that not to worry about any. The ones that I, by malevolent, I mean, they're ones that have been here for a long time. And if they're not messing with you, they're not going to. It's it's more something they do to the collective, yeah? For means of control. Right, okay. And that that's why these beings are here, working with certain souls. 
the benevolent ones because it's to help the with the ascension to bring humanity to a higher vibration and many it's like the waves of the light workers coming in yeah they're helping like with that and so that right now yeah i believe that would be you and um what i've seen here is um also too if for those of you who are have um reached out or wanted help because you felt like you had some kind of a curse or family curse they want they're saying to not okay yeah, i see to let go of any paranoia to not worry you are being protected from magic or any dark manipulation on a collective societal or individual level mm -hmm, yeah second time this isn't even an alien step this is uh from the quantum tarot and i'm being drawn to the centaur on there and this star system, which I would not be surprised if that would be Alpha Centaurus, uh, especially with the Centaur right here and the Alpha Centaurus right here. You, these, this, these are the beings that are working with you most with for protection, yeah? And because they want you to remember your strength and um, they are also guiding and suggesting if you would like to work with crystals and herbs to infuse, to put a lot of intention into it and to um, like integrate it into different areas of your life. Uh, okay, they're giving me some examples. Perhaps even if you have like, say your regular shampoo and conditioner, you can put, you know, charge essential oils or herbs and put that into your shampoo and conditioner. Start infusing or at least putting your intention into things you do. This will start to help raise the vibration even more. They are working with you constantly. They don't want you to stress or worry about something. There are certain things that are going to be leaving your life or you, that you are going to be guided to walk away from. But once that happens, things are going to pick up and start moving really fast. They are constantly talking to you. They are constantly communicating with you through symbolism, through synchronicity, and through dreams and clair claircognizance. Yeah, some of your thoughts are not all your thoughts. Some of the thoughts are being sent to you from them telepathically, but they sound just like you. So... That is what I have for you today, my pile too. I hope this resonated. I love you. See you guys in the next reading. Happy Halloween. Hi, pile three. If you chose the palmistry hand, pile three, this is your reading. Now I have been guided by my guides to conduct this reading a little differently than I did last year. And I explained this at the beginning of um, pile two and I think pile one that, um, <clears throat> I got a channeled message that there is a large uh, group, a uh, collective, uh, that has undergone a lot of psychological warfare and some of them are healing from that and so it would be better to not do any kind of reading that is fear inducing even if it's for entertainment purposes only uh, because uh, the fact that there there are people who don't even realize that they are healing from a lot of subliminal psychological warfare that is what I'm getting yeah the light just flickered yeah um, and so it, it, it's so this will be messages and so each pile kind of had a theme pile one was time slips pile two uh, was oh God, I just did it how did it already leave my mind it happens when you're channeling um, oh the aliens how could I forget them and this one is something about apparitions and spirits, ghosts, the beings that are around you uh, often. And for you, Pile 3, as I'm seeing here, there's a lot. Not to be scared, though. Not to be scared. So this is a message from them to you. Uh, I had to take my witch hat off. I just want to say that because it was too big. I was in the window and I couldn't channel. So let's get right into your reading, Pile 3. So here we go. Pile 3, yes. I see that there are many beings that are around you often. They come sometimes, some of them are people who you knew in this life and some of them you did not. And also some of them are animals. And some of them are spirits that jump in to an animal for a time being just to be near you. And that would be mostly for those of you who lost a loved one. Um, and you and they sometimes come check on you. It's almost like they jump into the animal like it's an avatar, jump right in to be around you, to feel your presence, to come say hello. Um, I'm also seeing that you have a lot of protection from light and from dark beings. You are accepted in the underworld, or how shall I say it, loved. Loved, accepted, protected. You need not worry. They want you to know that you need not worry about people who are doing dark things or sending mischievous energies your way or trickster beings, trickster 
spirits, not to worry about that. You have so much more love and protection in the underworld, and I'm getting this in multiple areas. Um, yeah, anything that is said to try to scare you, it's not going to work. It's not going to happen. Um, I'm also being shown that <laughs> these spirits... <laughs> These spirits have been trying sending you many messages, many synchronicities, many signs, and they know you notice them, but they feel that there's something you're still not seeing yet, and they 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 get frustrated like ah because they don't know how else to say something to you, but they're trying, but they know that you see the messages and that, that soon it's going to click because for some of you it's that they are trying to show you or remind you of somebody's true colors, somebody from your past who was not good for you, who used to be in and out of your life and leave you hanging a lot. Um, this person might be going through a spiritual awakening or fighting going through a spiritual awakening, like rejecting it at this time and might not be in the right place yet to meet you where you are at mentally and spiritually, um, right? So they're protecting you from that. They don't want you to be hurt, um, but they actually are... <laughs> Yes, they are fiercely protecting you, and whether you're aware of this or not, these beings are protecting. If you've been ha feeling stagnant, um, especially if any of you coming here have been feeling, say, stuck or stagnant in, say, the romance or love department, it's because there are, I'm, I'm seeing this here, that there are beings that do try, want to come near you or come through to you, but they are being blocked by these many spirits around you from above and below. And these spirits are protecting you because they don't want somebody who's going to be manipulative or who is not spiritually at your level yet to come through that would hold you back. They want you to come into a conjunction or come together with somebody who will be empowering, somebody who will be honest and, and open and treat you uh, with uh, like the emperor or empress that you are, show you true love, right? Um, these spirits are working with you to make, sure, to make sure that you maintain your autonomy, that you have the ability to move in any direction you want to, right? But they, they, they might be blocking also other people out of your life, not just in the romance department. I'm seeing that now, that there's other people they're keeping away from you because these are beings that, uh, what should I say? people who aren't just aren't on the same frequency as you anymore you're being protected from people bringing try who would eventually try to bring you down to a lower frequency they might not even be conscious as what they're doing but it's people who are not awake yet or some of them who are refusing to wake up but yes there's many beings around you you know I'm, I'm being told you are really never alone they come to you often in the there's a lot of uh yeah, a lot of, some of them are people who, for some of you, these are people you knew in this life who crossed over and they come around you all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They're giving you signs all the time. They're always showing you people's true colors. I'm also hearing for some of you, um, you might start trying some kind of, um, I'm hearing method of channeling with colors. Yeah. Yeah. Something about colors. Uh, it's something about reading signs and colors. Uh, yeah, you might see, like, you might assign certain messages to certain colors. You can uh, make a system up on your own or go with what you intuitively feel each color to be. And um, start by, you know, when you see certain colors, places, or around people, you might be able to read auras, right? Or perhaps you know that when I, like, you can assign, if I see this color on somebody today, this is my sign that da 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 and then you see somebody wearing that color and it means that sign. Something like that. There's something about they want to start speaking to you through colors. Okay. So yeah, so this is a quick message. I'm sorry if you guys heard the barking in the background. Um, it is Halloween and there are kids trick-or-treating. So uh, I'm going to try to keep this quick. I love you. And um, happy Halloween. Happy Samhain. I'm going to take it to Pile 4. Hi, pile four, if you chose the cinnamon broom, the besom, pile four, this is your reading, the Halloween read, the supernatural paranormal read, yes, so I got a high pitch in my right ear, so there's a spirit that wants to talk, okay, um, before we go there, <laughs> uh, I just want to say, you know, if something doesn't fit, don't make it, right, and um, also, quick channeled message that I said at the beginning of the other piles and before I go any further it is actually Halloween and there are trick-or-treaters right now so if you hear the dogs bark I do apologize for the distraction 
uh, I also wanted to say yes. So I got a channeled message from the, my guides, the benevolent beings that I, I work with, and that was to do this reading a little differently than I did last year. I love doing scary Halloween picker cards. I love it. It's fun. It's fun. It's entertaining, right? However, the channeled message that I got was that at this time there is a large number of people, a large group, a collective within the collective that has undergone a lot of psychological warfare. This might not be for everybody, but there's definitely a large um, amount of them, and many, and so, and some of them, yes, do watch my channel and come to my readings. Uh, these are people who have undergone, you know, whether it was group harassment or simply. Uh, unknowingly no, not knowing that they were under psychological warfare through uh, subliminal programming and other things that were are, or environmental changes even uh, little different things that were affecting people and that at this time some people are still going through that and some people are healing and for that reason it would be in the best interest and high, or of the greatest and highest good of all to not do some, any kind of reading that's invoking fear at this time. So, this is still going to be a Halloween read. This is still going to be, you know, somewhat supernatural paranormal, uh, but it's not going to be super scary for the reason of the greatest good, greatest and highest good of all. So each pile has kind of had a theme. Pile one was time slips, you know, timeline jumping, di different dimensions. Uh, pile two was some messages from some of the aliens and uh, benevolent beings around. Uh, pile three was uh, messages from the apparitions and spirits that are very, very, very of protective nature that are around. Uh, and then this one is a message for my past life shamans, witches, and warlocks. So let's get right into it. Um, I love you all. Happy Halloween. Happy Samhain. Whenever you're watching this, you can watch this at any time. So I love you, and so here we go, pile four. Let's get into it. Uh, yeah, so I'm seeing here my pile four. Uh, yeah, if you were feeling or sensing or believing that in a past life you came from some kind of shamanic witch, warlock, type tasks, you are absolutely correct. Uh, what I'm seeing here in this past life, you are very powerful with your abilities. You are very powerful with your skills. Uh, you did not let anybody mess with you and you did not abuse your powers. Uh, however, I do see that there were some, and you were able to use your powers, your abilities to help others to get through and come out of and heal from hard times. And I see that now that you uh, still have these powers at this time in this life. Uh, I'm also seeing that many people coveted what you were able to do in this life. There was many people who coveted at you and, and many also who feared you because they did not understand your abilities. Um, now if any of this resonates where it sounds like, gosh, it sounds like this life, then that's how you know. Because I, I, I know from, say, my own understanding that many themes from past lives will continue to recycle into these next lives. It's like you'll see normally like, you know, um, uh, what's the pattern, cycles, things that repeat. Um, I see that uh, in this past life you had mastered divination. Uh, you had a very power, you had familiars. You had a fam at least one powerful familiar, but you saw omens everywhere you went. You were, a, you had perfected and mastered the art of reading omens and you were fiercely protected by spirits and by animals. Um, I'm also seeing in that in this past life that you did have a <laughs> what well, you want to call it a twin flame you want to call it a soulmate you did have a powerful connection that actually was I'm going to be honest with you it looked like it put you through hell and there might have been some unfinished business that carried out and perhaps even into this lifetime where you might have come across a certain connection with somebody that, uh, you know, it was like, ah, well, really what I've seen here is I'll, whether this might not even be that this is someone you were meant to be with this entire life, but that you're, it was meant to tie up loose ends from a previous life, uh, whether you want to call it a soulmate, twin flame, it doesn't, and it just doesn't mean it make it a karmic soulmate, it just means there was unfinished business 
um, of things that had to ha happen. I'm also seeing that there was um, group in this past life. There was a group of other shamans or witches or warlocks who actually I feel were interested in you, and I think that. There, it, it feels to me like you turned away from a group that wanted you to join or be a part of or there was a church that you're a part of and walked away from like something like that and that that caused a lot of um, it's almost like jealousy and envy there um, might have even been where in this and I don't want to get too much into fear but this is this, this is a past life where the somebody might have turned against you because of you deciding to leave a group and turn to some kind of government authority the kingdom, the royal kingdom, they're gonna, a king or queen, because this is you know a long time ago, where they they some it's like almost like somebody tried to expose you or say that you were using your abilities and uh, for like like basically burn the witch, you know, tried to make you out to be something bad, and that uh, you know it caught the attention of some kind of negative, higher authoritative figure. And it brought many problems for you. It might have even been how you expired in that life. Uh, and due to that, I feel that that is the reason why perhaps sometimes you might have uh, unconsciously or subconsciously in this life repressed some of your gifts. Um, it's almost like a psychological way of protecting yourself because of things that happened in this past life for being who you were and what you were able to do. I'm also seeing here, though, that you were asked by the universe, by very powerful beings, by guides, to come back at this time, come back at this time because of your mystical abilities, because of the nature of your soul, because of the nature of your spirit, you were asked to come back at this time. These abilities, these gifts you had, for many of you, you would also, uh, might have been even a, whether you want to say a necromancer, a medium, but you um, had a very strong connection with the other side, which I believe is carried out with you into this life, whether you are consciously aware of that or not. And, um, yeah, some of you repressed this as a child, or maybe still do, or haven't awoken to it, and some of you are very well aware, very well aware very well aware and that um, the a lot of these would be a lot of this past life is available to you through past life regression if you want to but I'm hearing from spirit that you would be cautioned because when you actually see if you were to see the intensity and of all the things that took place sometimes it's traumatic because remember back then that's coming out of like in the dark ages there was a lot of crazy stuff that happened and it's, it's one thing seeing it in the movies it's another thing when you remember what you actually experienced in real life it's, it gets a little crazy um there's also a little bit of a message here yeah 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 yeah, yeah. something about looks like in this life there was a point where it's hard for you to move forward with something because you got tired of having to keep fighting for something you uh, oh no this is this is a specific message I'm being told this isn't actually a past life this would be something about for this life where it's where there if there is if you've been through a lot and you're still standing um, there's some kind of window of opportunity that's getting ready to arise in your life or be presented to you in an area of something that perhaps you thought you were going to not get a chance to do after all or you thought oh I won't get it. I'm not going to be able to do that but you are going to be able to do that you are going to be stepping into your power greatly greatly stepping into your power uh, however spirit wants you to cut is and this is all coming to you as long as for the, you maintain the people and things that you have had to cut off because of the people and things that have done you wrong, hurt you, that you've had to cut off, people you don't speak to anymore, they want you to continue to keep them at bay and not work with these people. These people, there's, it's like about making sure that the lesson was learned and that the boundary stays up and then some kind of blessing comes in. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, I'm seeing, because in this past life, a lot of people didn't give you, it's like a lot of people knew what you were able to do, but didn't give you credit for what you were able to do. It's like people didn't, it's almost like even like people came to you for help and then didn't pay you for it or try not to pay you for it or then turned around and threatened to turn you over to the 
the authorities or the government or the church or something. There's something here like that. And so to help heal that wound spirit is making sure that you've learned to, even it's almost like because you have a big heart or a lot of knowing that you're able to help people, it doesn't mean you're always supposed to. And to know when the boundary has to stay up. And if that lesson is passed, it's something about you have a great big, huge opportunity, a huge blessing coming in. Really big. So that's what I'm seeing for you, my past life shamans witches and warlocks happy halloween i love you all i hope you are having a very wonderful evening uh safe and if you have kids i hope you enjoy taking them trick-or-treating or wherever you are watching from in the world i love you all happy halloween happy salmon bye